Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to cover how to install Apache on Ubuntu. We are using 20.04 LTS version and we will create a virtual host on Apache web server. So these are the table of content which we are going to learn. So we will start with what is a web server, what is Apache server, then we will install Apache on Ubuntu. Further, we will run a website on Apache web server. Next, we will set up a virtual host configuration file in Apache web server by enabling the virtual host file in Apache web server. So let's start. So what is a web server? A web server is a software run by our website hosting provider so that visitors can view the web pages on our site Many WordPress hosting providers use Apache. The software performs a similar role to a restaurant host. When you arrive at a restaurant, the host greets you, checks your booking information, and takes you to your table. In a similar way, the web server checks for the web page you have requested. A web server does more. It also acts like a restaurant server when it fetches the page and serves it for your viewing. Please. And also, it performs the role of a restaurant matrix by handling communications with the website, handling a request, and making sure that all other modules are ready to serve you. Next, what is a Apache web server? So, Apache is the most widely used web server software and runs on 67% of all websites in the world. It is developed and maintained by Apache Software Foundation. Apache is open source software and available for free. It's fast, reliable, and secure. And Apache can be highly customized to meet the needs of many different environments by using extensions and mods. Apache powers websites like Wikipedia, delivering, delivering their web pages and content to worldwide over the internet. It serves as a software that handles incoming web requests process them and send back the requested web pages, making online content accessible to end users. So now we will start with the installation of Apache on Ubuntu version 20.04. Simply update your system by typing sudo apt update. As you can see, it is updating. Now install Apache. sudo apt hyphen get install Apache 2. So why Apache 2? It is used as second major version of the Apache HTTP server. So type Y to continue. So it is has been installed successfully. Now we will check the status of Apache 2. It's running or not. To check the status, you simply need to type sudo service Apache 2 status. So as we can see, it is actively running. So now we will check this on our browser. To copy our IP address, paste in the URL and enter it.
So as you can see, the site can't fit it. To solve this problem, we need to change the instance setting. So we will click on the security option. Next, as you can see, there is only one port activate 22. And as we know, default page of Apache is run on the port 80. So we have to change this configuration. So click on launch wizard. Click on uh, inbound rules. Edit the inbound rules. Add a rule. Select HTTP. So for HTTP, as we can see, by default port is 80. Now select anywhere so everyone can access the website. Now save the rule. Now check this out. Now go to your browser where you have typed your IP address. So it works. So as we can see, this is the default page of Apache Ubuntu. So now we will run our website on Apache web server. By default, Apache comes with a basic site, the one that we saw in the previous step, which is enabled. So we can modify its content in where directly or settings by editing its virtual host file found in ATC direct. So we can modify how Apache handles incoming requests and have multiple sites running on the same server by editing its virtual host file. So today we are going to leave the default Apache virtual host configuration pointing to a website and set up our own website. Page. So let's start by creating a folder of our new website. So we will create a folder with a where directory. So cd slash where slash www. So in where directory www is the directory where all the web server data web server data is stored for example like html images etc to check out what are the files under www directory type ls so as we can see a folder htm so we will open that folder now in that folder you will create one directory sudo mkdr gci you can use your name as per your choice so we will check so see it is visible and we have created a folder now we will open editor so we can type our html code so to open type sudo nano gci now type your code here this is jnu editor You can copy paste the HTML code.
so now we will save this file by simply clicking on by simply enter control plus x shift plus y now save your file dot html as it is a website and then press enter so now we will check this on a browser to check this we have type our ip address so this is our default page so slash a file name so as you can see we have successfully created a website on ubuntu server Now we will set up virtual host configuration file in Apache web server. We will start this step by going into configuration file directly. In etc directory, we will change the configuration. Since Apache came with a default virtual host file, let's use that as a base. Configuration is used here to match a subdomain. So, to match a subdomain name, as we have created this here, so simply we will create a GCI dot configuration and edit this configuration by sudo nano gci dot now as you can see the port 80 is used by the virtual host now server admin in server admin you can type your email address so the end users if have any error in your website can contact you And in document root where you have saved the file. Document root directive to point our directory our site files are posted on. So by typing our email address, we can configure our site. Now we will save this. So simply type control plus X, shift plus Y. As you can see, gci.configure is the name of the configuration file which we are going to save enter so we have saved our configuration now we will enable the virtual host file in apache website after setting up our website we need to activate the virtual host configuration file to enable it we will do it by running the following command So sudo a2 inside gci.conf. So as you can see, it is enabling site GCI to activate.
now we will reload our service so simply type sudo service apache to reload when you save your configuration you need to reload now it is successfully reloaded so we have done with it so in this article we have covered how to install apache on ubuntu using version 20.04 lts and we have successfully run a virtual site on apache website thank you